Well, good evening, folks. We're sitting in sunny California and watching uh, the girls. This is, uh, you got Lucy to your right and you got Betty to your left, okay? And they're about ready to have some baby pigs. So I thought I'd give you some interesting facts about pigs that is kind of cool. Did, uh, so I'll just get straight to the meat. And, uh, and I am getting this uh, from the web, and, and I do notice some of this as I did some research. But, you know, pigs are very super smart, and they, they remember everything. Yes, I, I think that's kind of cool. That they, and scientists have determined that not only are pigs smart, they're smarter than dogs. Some primates and three-year-old children even. It says they are ranked as the fourth most intelligent creature on Earth. Their level of cognitive ability allows pigs to play joystick-controlled video games, have abstract thought, use tools, recognize their own names, dream, and follow commands. Pigs can use mirrors to locate food that is not directly visible. They task only a few other animals, such as dolphins, elephants, and chimps, can accomplish. Pigs can be taught to sit, jump, fetch, and catch frisbees. A researcher at the University of Illinois found that pigs learn how to control the thermostat of their barn to adjust. So, so, you know, their ability to understand how other pigs think allows them to use de decent and purposely misled other pigs to the wrong trail so that they can keep more food for themselves. They're tricky. Okay, I missed a bunch on that, but uh, pigs have excellent memories. Studies have shown that pigs can remember where food is stored in places where they have found food before. They can also remember directions and can find their way home from great distances. Pigs can recognize and remember humans and up to 30 other pigs. I guess not all pigs look alike. Another thing about pigs you should know is uh, cleanliness is next to pigginess. Many people have this misconception that pigs are dirty animals. In fact, people take the piggy name in vain to insult people they think are slobs, calling them filthy pigs and comparing their homes or offices to a pigsty. The truth is that pigs are very clean animals. So clean they can live indoors like dogs and cats as companions. So it's given the freedom to roam in sufficient space, pigs will not defecate near their sleeping or eating areas. Pigs like to bathe in water, though they do take mud baths. Why, you ask? Well, pigs have no sweat glands, so they roll around in the mud to stay cool and protect themselves from the sun. That's right, the mud acts as a sunscreen. It also keeps the bugs away. So the next time you hear someone say he is sweating like a pig, let them know that impossible since pigs don't sweat. <laughs> okay, now here's the third thing about pigs. Uh, everyone should eat like a pig. Another misconception people have about pigs is that they eat anything and everything and a lot of it quickly. Well, the truth is quite the opposite. Pigs in, wide, uh, in the wild excuse me, uh, spend a long time foraging for food. Their best sense is smell, and pigs root for food with their snouts, happy to find a variety of goodies to eat. Given the freedom, uh, pigs can be very picky eaters. Uh, they like to have their menu changed up rather than get the same meal day after day, okay? Pigs eat slowly, nibbling and savoring their food. Yeah, this is uh, pigs do not pig out or eat like hogs, which are more inaccurate phrases people are use. Pigs are highly social, okay? Pigs are extremely social animals. They have found close bonds with people and other animals. They love contact and enjoy getting massages. Uh, pigs show affection by grooming each other. They uh, they greet each other by rubbing their noses aw, and enjoy hanging out together. 
okay, they sunbathing and playing and listening to music even. Pigs love to sleep together in nests, cuddled up nose to nose. Who wouldn't want to cuddle up to a pig? <laughs> okay, now pigs love to play. They just love for human children. Play is an important part of piglets, social and cognitive development. Since pigs like to chase each other then round and round, play fight and wrestle and push balls around with their noses, all the while grunting and squealing, which is piggy laughter. Pigs like toys and will use their imaginations to find a way to play with the cardboard boxes, blankets, hay, or whatever they find on their own, own explorations. Like children, pigs tend to get bored with the same toy quickly, so it's important to keep them stimulated with different play toys. I, I throw different balls in there and, and cardboard boxes a lot of times, even a bag sometimes. They just enjoy that too. Um, okay, so number six, there is, uh, you know, pigs talk a lot. You know, if you watch some of these videos, you'll see that pigs have a lot to say. They communicate constantly with each other and they don't just oink. Pigs have a vocabulary of over 20 distinct oinks, grunts, snorts, and, and snarls, <laughs> and squeaks that have specific meanings. They convey their intentions. How they're feeling, they, they, warn, they warn you, they, they have greetings, and when it's time for dinner. A lactating mother sow has a special call to her little piglets. No, it's time to suckle, and mother pigs stay in close contact with their piglets through grunts and squeals. See, newborn piglets uh, learn to recognize their mother's voices. Their mother's pigs also sing to their piglets while nursing. You ever hear him go, oh, oh. Okay, now, and here's another one. Now, you know, since we're going through this, you know, pigs are great mothers. Pigs are good mothers. Pigs have uh, maternal family units while, uh, where piglets are cared for by female relatives. So, you know, this is, uh, these are sister pigs here. And uh, these pigs are good mothers and develop strong bonds and love for her children, just like human mothers do. Okay, in the wild, the mother pig builds a nest for her unborn babies in a place where she thinks will be safe for them. Sometimes she will uh, walk over six miles to find a suitable place and will give birth to her babies in their, this scheduled area. Uh, the mother pig will stay with her piglets for about two weeks before returning to the herd where she will wean her babies and teach them how to survive. Mother pigs get anxious when they are separated from their babies and mourn when they are taken away. So that's the hardest part, taking the babies away. So I let them see. You can see that she's, you know, not, uh, she's not very comfortable. She's moving around a lot. So that's usually what they do before they had the babies. Uh, you know, okay, we're on number eight now. I want to get going so you guys can get through this. Uh-oh, we went over the minute. We're going into eight minutes. So I'll, we'll go to eight. Eight things about the pigs. Now, pigs may not wear capes, but they pigs are heroes, okay? Um, they can be superheroes when they need to be. There are many stories of pigs who have faced danger and jumped in to save the day. Pigs have been reported to have saved humans and other animals from drowning, fires, and intruders. One pig flagged down a passing car to help her human companion who was having a heart attack. There are also numerous stories of pigs who have managed to escape from trucks bound for slaughterhouses, saving themselves and showing us that pigs, like everyone else, want to live. Okay, folks. I'm going to give you some more fun facts later, but we got you into 10 minutes now, and I hope that you learned something. And if you got some entertainment, do a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more piggy facts. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And have a good evening.